the time. You go in, fuck, fuck every fucking greasy. Yo, what up, Stash Nation? Loki coming at you. We got uh, something a little different for you today. This is a special time with Loki, and this is episode one. How not to get kicked in every friggin' heist you join. I know it's a terrible feeling, and I know it happens a lot, and first off, let me just say, sometimes it's just gonna happen. There's no two ways about it. You're gonna get into a game, and somebody's gonna either, you know, not like your name, or not like your level, or something, or just be waiting for a buddy, or maybe somebody just disconnected, and they're gonna just boot you, and it's gonna feel like for no reason. But, uh, now more often than not, it's it's to do with your level that's that's all it is you're trying to enter something and i know how exciting it can be to try to level up and you see something like you know a hoxton breakout or a bank job on death wish and you want to get in there and get those levels done but it's just it's not the way to go it's not smart leveling um you can do a lot of the stuff i have guides on on how to level it's really easy to even do it just by yourself to get those first few levels knocked out now uh my advice again there with grenades man don't throw grenades when there's when there's people around when there's you players are around because they do friendly damage so uh you know sometimes you just get booted just for that somebody won't like that you're hucking grenades around um also you know being aware look at the uh, crew setup before you just jump into something all willy-nilly if the group needs you know medicine bring medicine even if it's you know, all you can carry is four first aid kits. That might be the one thing that, you know, separates you from getting kicked and not getting kicked. Um, also, awareness. Just because you're carrying med kits doesn't mean you're useful with them. Take, keep an eye on your team's health. If you're carrying med kits, that's your job. If you're carrying ammo, it's clearly displayed on the bottom. Just keep an eye out for your team's ammo levels. If, uh... You know, that could be a reason you're getting kicked too, man. Maybe you're not, um, maybe you're being greedy. <laughs> could be as simple as that, dude. But, uh, again, so we've covered, you know, the gear you should be carrying, not, you know, jumping into, you know, high saw willy-nilly like, and when you're in, you know, like you see me doing, stay on task. If you're, if the group is, all, if there's three people together on every single point, and you're not, you're probably gonna get kicked. And even if you're out somewhere, you know, Billy badassing it up and killing everything in sight, you, you're probably still going to get kicked because <laughs> they want to do objective to objective gameplay. And uh, you can't really fault somebody for that. Um, you know, also, communication's a big thing. Maybe, uh, you know, they might be on a team speak or something like that. They might be on a different level, and, you know, you have to really watch your P's and Q's and not be dying a lot, don't get shot a lot. Just, uh, you know, don't burn off ammo, put your... You know, be useful. If you have shape charges, help the objectives move along, or if you have, you know, jammers or that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, don't just drain the ammo supply. But, uh... You know, it's a lot of, there's a lot of other, you know, things to take into account, of course. But these are probably just some of the simple things that you might be overlooking or not, you know, considering. And again, sometimes there's just no two ways about it. You know, I've been at max level, I've dropped in to just help out, and I've been kicked immediately. And <laughs> it's like, well, <laughs> you know, what are you going to do? That's just the way it is. But, uh... You know, it's pretty easy to tell some people, you know, if you look at, um, you know, if you drop in and me, let's say I'm hosting and I've got, let's say I'm carrying ammo, somebody else is carrying ammo, and then a third person is carrying health. Now, if you as the fourth person drop in, let's say at like level 90, and you're carrying one friggin' ammo bag, or one jammer, or, you know, you're probably gonna get booted. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I've, I've seen it happen over and over again. Or if you're carrying the armor case. Or if you're level zero. Just because you're, you know, infamy level... I don't care if you're infamy level five bajillion. Level zero is level zero. And XP in this game scales, and you should always, always take that into account when you're trying to level up. Is it really smart to just go running all willy-nilly into a Hoxton breakout at level zero because there's a ton of XP? No, it's not. That's a 40-minute job. 
and you know you can get your first 25 levels by running a, a couple few mall crashers and those that's a you know a three four minute job so uh and again as a host if i see those things i you know it's lazy gameplay to me and you're probably not going to be super useful so uh and again you you might be watching this and you're like yeah, i think yeah, you pro I probably I might have kicked you. I'm sorry, but I hope this helps that never happen to you again. As you can see, I play with people of all different levels. I don't usually like to see anybody in a in a big in a big slobber knocker like this unless you're like level 45 in that range. I think uh, you know, and that's just a personal preference thing. This is easily runnable at lower levels, but I just again, it's not you know why bother. Why would you even bother? But uh, so a quick, you know, recap of what we've discussed. Why are we getting booted from things? Are we under leveled? Are we not bringing the right crap in with us? Are we not staying with the group? Are we not watching the group ammo and we're carrying ammo? Are we not watching the group health and we're carrying health? It's all gonna really just boil down to simple situational awareness you know if you have a key card you know and there's no health laying around and the infirmary is locked even though it's the end and you're oh geez i just really want to save the key card to get them to the end and open the door so quickly at the worst case scenario if everybody has health that's a you know probably a 45 second to a minute long drill time and they will kick you take your card open the infirmary and survive and I would too, but uh, you know that's just you know, my personal thoughts on on stuff like that. Um, I I think I'm gonna make uh, a separate stealth guide, but also another thing to consider is uh, if you've never been in a job before, it it's probably gonna show. So you're gonna want to either you know do a little recon, man. It behooves you to. There's sources. There's all kinds of resources out there to. Uh, so you can see, you know, what to expect in any job. You might want to just, you know, run it at a lower level. Run it on normal. It's not a big deal. It's just, you know, you're learning. You're learning how to get, you know, the best you can. But anyway, um, I hope, you know, some of these tips helped you. I hope uh, maybe it helped you not get kicked so often, man. If, uh, if it did, maybe throw me a like, a sub, something like that. I do, uh, I do appreciate it. See if we can keep these special time with Lokis going. <laughs> But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, as always, I will catch you in the next video.